Hey babes, my name is Siam Tender N and the N is Fendama said, darling, if you are new here, thank you so much for coming by. Hopefully you stay, subscribe and mostly leave a comment. Let me know which country you come from. Even if you come from South Africa, let me know which province you come from because I want to give you a shout out on my next video. And if you are a regular subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You know how we do it. Already leave your name. I mean, leave a comment because already if you leave a comment, it's going to leave your name. Let me know which country you've come from. If you are from South Africa, leave your province so that when I'm in your province, I know that I've got reps. Okay, let's rep each other up. Um, guys, so I'm going for lunch with the walkers. Well, it's breakfast with the walkers because he's lost his dad. So we're just going to give him flowers and just comfort him really and just show our love. It's ridiculously hot. So if my lace melts during the day, you have to be understanding. Let me get going because my Uber's already outside. I just got home. I just want to show you guys how crazy my allergy gets. Can you see my face? It's swollen. My neck is pink. It feels so itchy. My face, guys, my face. It feels so numb. I can't feel my face. I can only feel the lower part, but upwards, I can't feel anything. So guys, the thing is, I'm allergic to pollen, right? If I'm, if I'm around plants, from around plants, a lot of trees, a lot of grass, I will get like this, like my whole body's gonna itch. Luckily, most of my body's covered. It's just my face and my neck. It's the worst thing ever. And now I'm supposed to be going to meet Andrew at Zai restaurant, but like, I had to rush home to come drink allergics, which I'm supposed to carry everywhere I go. The pit, the pit! Guys, even this, like having this. <gasps> Guys, I'm so scared. Hey Faith, so a quick update. I'm so knocked off. Setu's mom fed me so much. To the point where I'm just so full and I'm so sleepy. Go on, go on the itis, do the itis. I just wanna do a quick like these taxis, son. I just want to do like a quick talk, like, like quick update kind of. So I went to see Setu's mom, right? Um, I went to meet Setu's mom. I knew of her and I had spoken to her over the phone and she's just been there for me as a mother um, since my mom passed away. She's prayed for me. She's sent me texts. She's 
been a mother figure really so i went to see her today and to meet her for the first time i just went to florida to get flowers for her and then i went to see her um at the house not her baking my fate for me ama queenya which very much reminds me of my grandmother because they are so beautiful like They look so good. She fed me so much. She's such a mother, guys. Um, but I think mostly I'm so grateful for her as a mother figure. And I'm so grateful that she's able to share her gift with so many of us. And that's basically a gift of her being a mom. I'm so sorry, guys. There's so many cars this afternoon here passing by all of a sudden. Um, she's such a, uh, a mother. And I'm so grateful for her. Like, I'm just so grateful that she's been, she's opened up her arms, she's opened up her heart, she's opened up her home, she's opened up her journey with God and just to pray for me as a child. And it's not even like, I'm not even her biological child, but she's a mom to me. And it's so crazy how much she reminds me of my grandmother, just even her knowing to bake Amaguinha for me. Like, my grandmother used to do that, that for me whenever I'd come home. And she's got so much in common with my grandmother. She feels so warm. She's she's so incredible. And I'm so grateful that Setu as a friend is the type to be open to sharing her mom with her friends. Um, oh, it's such a beautiful thing. And it's such a beautiful family. Just even having a mother that has like that kind of heart, guys. Like it's just out of this world. And being able to experience a mother like that. Like she gave me the biggest hug in the whole world that just made me feel like everything is okay and that everything is going to be okay and she kept telling me that everything is, is going to be okay even when i walked in she was so welcoming she gave me the biggest hug she got so emotional and i got so emotional because she was getting so emotional and it's just like the emotional connection was just so insane like i'm so happy that i get to start my year like this like it feels so good to just have someone just like love you like that and just hug you and just care about you like someone that knows nothing about you but they just think the best of you and they receive the best for you like that's such a beautiful thing and i'm just so glad that my friend has a mother like that like it makes so much sense why she's so incredible yo guys my heart is so warm i'm so knocked out like i'm literally gonna take a nap right now because that's how full i am i went there at like three it's 6 p.m. now and I just got home. Like that's that should tell you how much of a good time we had. God has been so good, man. And I'm so glad I'm starting my year like this. Can only be blessings. But yeah, but more than anything, we give gratitude, we give thanks to God. I'm so glad that I woke up this morning and I prayed. Did my morning routine. I ran. I prayed still. Um, did everything I was supposed to do, prayed still. And I'm about to journal and just give thanks to God because he's just so good <sighs> thanks guys for watching yeah I'll see you the next day if you haven't subscribed please get into subscribing leave a like I mean like and leave a comment below I'll see you guys the next day if
guys men are so weird like someone is blackmailing me because i told them that i'm seeing someone so they're blackmailing me over the fact that i have someone that i'm seeing in my life like now it's blackmailing me that how's that fair to him and he can just be a side nigga that's always there like what do you mean self-love no 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 self-love my gent is self-love abudi self-love self-love zitande zitande it's 2023 love yourself and value yourself um hold on my friend be calling me hi oh she's so beautiful guys Tell me say hi to my vlog Okay, so hey guys, so um, before my friend called me, I was just telling you guys that I like to um, watch Sarah Jakes Roberts and journal and then pray so that I can start my day. So that's what I'm about to do. And then um, I like to wear like a big t-shirt and my durag. I've got my durag. I've got two of these. And I just, I just like this relaxed look of me like calming down from my exercise and just planning on how I'm going to shoot the next phase or what I'm going to do next or, what, or preparing for the meeting that I'm going to have next. So I have my diary where I plan my YouTube videos. Okay, well, I usually use the YouTube one, but this diary and I've written down what I need to do today. So now it's time for me to actually um, watch Sarah Jakes Roberts and then um these taxis watch sarah jakes robert and then journal and reflect on the scripture for the day and then after that pray as soon as i'm done with that i'm going to start getting ready to do my makeup so the time now is 10 o'clock so by 11 or at 11 i must be doing my makeup so that more work hi babe Hi. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. How are you doing? Good, good. Okay, I've got two things on my plate. Um, the first one is with um, the thing that you shot with Mabusi. Yes. Um, I'm sure you know that he's not coming back. Mm -hmm. um, You're not the only one who's had to face this thing before. I don't serve a God who sits back and watches me drown. The same power that rolled the stone away. It's the same power that brought me to this moment in my life. It's the same power that made a way for us to be connected. just a good time. We need breakthrough. Yeah. Miracles, signs, and wonders. That's her on the other side. And she said, uh, I'll do whatever it takes to get you here. Guys, I just finished. I just finished journaling as well as my prayers for the day. Um, that's my morning prayer, basically. So I today I took thirty minutes. I usually take like an hour, forty-five minutes to an hour. Sometimes more than that, an hour and a half, because depending on the seminar I watched and how long it was and what spoke to me on the day. So today I was watching short videos. It was like I watched two short videos. I think they in total they were for like sixteen minutes. And then I think I prayed for like six minutes. Yeah, so while I was watching, I was journaling, obviously, and speaking my mind and trying to resonate with the word. But I just want to say to you guys that Sarah Jakes Roberts is a very anointed woman. She's a very strong woman. She's one woman that I can listen to preach better than most. And I can understand her and I can resonate with her. And I feel like her word or her, um, her word as well as how she puts out situations and how she can insert God's word into it. It's just, for me, it's, it's out of this world. It's something that 
Man, I wish I could go to Women Evolve. I wish I could go see her live. I always cry whenever like I'm watching what any of her sermon is because I just feel like she empowers me so much. And today, um, she spoke about, let me just kind of like let you guys in a little bit, all right? She, she spoke about oh, how you don't have to fight alone, right? So it's like whatever battles, whatever things I'm going through, I don't have to fight them alone. Um, I could just go to God about them. I could speak to God about them. I could pray to God about them so that God can know that like, I'm not facing these things alone. I'm not facing grief alone. I'm not facing unemployment alone. I'm not facing rejection alone. I'm not facing um, a disease alone. I'm not facing whatever sickness that you may have alone. Um, you know, just you're not facing anything that you're going through alone. You know, you're not facing failure. You're not fa facing a disease alone. You're not facing family problems alone. You're not facing that divorce alone. You're not fa facing that whatever it is you're going through. She's just reminding us that you are not alone in that thing. You know, and that. Um, my God does not sit back and watch me drown. And I do believe that because every time I call out to God, he always answers and he's always there for me. So I do believe that God will never let me drown. Like he will never. Like he sees me and he hears me. You know, she spoke about how um, you need to invest into your breakthrough. Um, so you need to invest the work into your breakthrough. You need to invest the prayer into your breakthrough. You need to invest... You basically need to invest whatever it takes in order for your breakthrough to come through. If you know what I'm saying? Invest your prayer, invest your time, invest um, working on it, invest in it as well as a person so that God can meet you halfway that, okay, I can see that she means well about this. She really wants it. Let me provide for her, you know? Um, um, how we have so much work to do because sometimes when when your friend can't pray for themselves, you should be in a position to pray for them because we've got work to do as people. Ooh, this touches me so much um because i know that i pray for others so it's like if you know your friend is going through something pray for them even if they didn't ask you to you know i pray for people that i don't even know i pray for you guys i pray for my followers i pray for everybody that's going through something you know because sometimes i know that other people can't pray for themselves and i do say that god i know that sometimes these people can't pray like i pray for those who cannot pray who can't even bring themselves to kneel down and pray i pray for those people so that type of thing man but yeah, invest power of prayer, time, work into your craft. So now I'm just gonna get ready to do my makeup and then 